Yo, it's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you dig? You're the wreck. I'm exposing all that. That's going to be my new slogan. Let's go. What's the word? It's Duff for the Cloud Chaser. Back up in this thing, you hear me? But look, this dude, Sadie Nash, bro. It's in 4K. 4K, Sadie Nash was on the news telling on a murder. We start with breaking news. A man is dead after a shooting outside a downtown Sacramento bar. Let's go to the night team's Richard Sharp. Just the last little while, we've learned from police that they have detained a couple of people in this. Take a look at the crime scene behind me here. Now, the body who was shot in this, the person, the victim, a man in his 30s, uh, the body is still on the sidewalk there just outside the Monte Carlo. We also spoke with some witnesses about what they heard. They said they heard an argument just before the shooting. When you heard the argument, was it a long argument? Was it just short? Did it seem know, like they it knew each static, other? It was static. It was And his friend was like, he not even a part of this. You know, he not a part of this S. And then boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Y'all heard it out his own mouth. Police are trying to piece together the argument that originally started all of this and uh, gather evidence at this point. But wait, there's more. Man shot to death outside Midtown Sacramento Bar. A man in his 30s died after a shooting in Midtown Sacramento. Sergeant with the Sacramento Police Department heard shots ring out just after 8.40 p.m. Wednesday near 15th and S Streets outside the Monte Carlo Club. A witness, a witness confirmed for the sergeant a shooting had indeed just taken place, and he or she spotted people scattering from the scene, according to a police news release. Moments later, what? Police determined to be a suspicious vehicle was seen speeding off. The sergeant tracked the white SUV and found the driver had- But I'm not done yet! Two people being questioned after deadly shooting outside a club. Police are questioning two people after gunfire rang outside of the Monte Carlo Club in Midtown. This is a situation where I parked and heard it, and somebody else was running one way and another guy falling on the ground, and he was dead, said Cedric Adams a witness in the case out his own mouth let's go dated arrest made in shooting outside sacramento nightclub cbs sacramento sacramento police have arrested 35 year old elpidio Tellez in connection with a shooting at a nightclub that left one man dead wednesday night police say an officer happened to be driving in the area when he heard gunshots and arrived at the scene a witness described a suspicious car that had just been seen leaving. This is a situation where I parked and heard it and somebody else was running one way and another guy falling on the ground and he was dead, said Cedric Adams, a witness in the case. This dude, Sadie Nash, bro. It's in 4K. 4K, Sadie Nash was on the news telling on a murder. When you heard the argument, was it a long argument? Was it just short? Did it I don't seem know, like they it was knew each static, other? It was static. It was And his friend was like, he not even a part of this. You know, he not a part of this S. Boom, boom. Like, my thing is, Sadie Nash, like, when Woody shit came out, when YSL Woody shit came out, bro, you had a lot to say about Woody, had a lot to say about YSL. Like, what's the word, gang? That shit all on No Jumper. I thought you rock with No Jumper. Why No Jumper got you on the internet telling on the murder, bro? So that girl Jalika was right. That girl Jalika said that this nigga was a rat. She said he told on his brother for a murder. I know his older brother who goes by Cepeda. So I know his older brother that um he actually narrated on. And narrating means making a statement. Do this for the manners. And uh, he started banging the rolling 60s in his 30s in 2020, I want to say. And he's never had an address in Los Angeles. A blue bandana over his mouth to cover his face because he was from Sacramento and he was from the Manors and his father is from the Gardens and his two brothers are from the Manors as well as his mother. And then as far as this paperwork, he was brought to my attention about a couple of weeks ago. I seen his YouTube channel. As I was reviewing and analyzing his YouTube page, I noticed that he was exposing a lot of rappers that narrated or he had an opinion on rappers who allegedly narrated. and. To know that he narrated on his blood brother Cepeda, his older brother let off and uh, you know, made a shake on do. They are blood brothers. And when Seti Nash made his statement, he included his blood brother as being the main aggressor and his brother's best friend who goes by the name Yanni as an accomplice. So they were listed as co-defendants. Girl, Jalika Ben came out and said that Sadie Nash ain't like that, y'all. She said that he a fucking rat. Ratter. You hear me? It's true. This man called in 4K, man. Check this out. And his friend was like, he not even a part of this. You know, he not a part of this S. Boom, boom, boom. This is a situation where I parked and heard it, and somebody else was running one way and another guy falling on the ground. And he was dead, said Cedric Adams, 
a witness in the case. A witness confirmed for the sergeant a shooting had indeed just taken place, and he or she spotted people scattering from the scene, according to a police news release. So, Sandy Nash, I got a question for you, bro. When you was talking about Gunner, what did you say about Gunner, gang? I ain't reading no papers. I ain't doing any of that. I got Buddy actually tell him. I ain't going off with nobody wrote nothing like that. He said this out his own mouth. Boom, boom, boom. We done. Everybody talking about, oh, he need a DP. Nah, he getting a put off. I've been exposing these rats from day one. Man, it's ugly. And the worst part is, he didn't have to do it. You chose to. Boom, boom, boom. And when it's a choice and you choose to do wrong, that's the problem. Oh, if you knew that you was on TV, why would you politic on these folks' names like that and you knew you was one of them? Nobody was going to know. Would have got away with it. You would have got away with it had we not had that camera footage. Boom, boom, boom. How would you politic on these folks' names and you knew you was one of them? Talking about gunning and snitching and all that shit when you was on the news doing this shit, bro. Bro, why, how did that even, like, how, make it make sense? First off, the news reported my homie, and I'd do it again, and I'd do it again. This dude is saying that he'll do it again. You will do it again, my boy? Tell me you telling without admitting you telling. Yo, Cedric, you will do it again, bro? Like, what? What is going on with you? Like, what's to you, gang? How you going to do that again? You know who his friend is, bro? According to Fox News? That's your people, right, Cedric? You said that you called them news people. Them your people, gang. So did you call them and tell them that you had a murder going on and you want to give a statement? Come on, bro. Keep it a buck. Bro, did you call them folks and say that you got a murder that just took place that you were eyewitness news? This going to get y'all lit? Is, is that how that works? You seen the cameras and you inspiring rapper and you wanted to go on the news to try to get your shit up? That shit say your full name, gang. That shit say your full name and it, underneath it, it says witness, bro. That's what the news said that you are, a witness. So even if you didn't show up to court, Brody, they would have used that footage against that person who you told on. And yes, you can be called to testify. Everybody know that. But birds of a feather flock together. Y'all heard that video I did at AK, man. Y'all heard what he said. Bloggers gotta be snitches. To all YouTubers, we gonna play some police shit on here, bro. We gonna play some police shit on here. It's a part of the job, bro. It's called being smart. Why would I get on here and tell shit that I've seen or did myself? Why? So the police can knock at my door? I would rather get paid to be in these niggas business than to get paid to be on my own. We wouldn't be successful if we didn't. Academics done did it. No jumper done did it. I'm talking about all these Vlad down there the fed. I'm not no fucking snitch, but I am a blog. I'm not into that. I'm not finna be telling no niggas and shit and doing all the above. What, the, what I look like? A goofy to you or something? Like, what's to do, bro? What's to him? Dude was acting like he liked that. Getting stamps from people in L.A. They already said when he first came out, if y'all don't remember, the man had on a mask. Now, now I know why he had on that fucking mask. He didn't want to reveal his identity because he thought y'all was going to expose him back then. But millions of views later, he figured like, you know what? <laughs> they, they probably ain't going to never find it. They ain't going to never find the footage. They ain't going to never get at me. Nobody was going to know. Would have got away with it. You would have got away with it. Had we not had that camera footage. On 4K. The video all on no jumper. I thought he rocked with no jumper. When he on no jumper, bro, check this out. So which camera am I looking at? This one? No, you just talking. Yeah, so am I talking camera. to the camera? No, no, Talk oh. to us. Yeah. It's a conversation. So look every once in a while. Thank you for the training. Seti Nash, but introduce yourself. You don't know who I am. Man, <laughs> Seti Nash, you know the visionary, man. As always, say your favorite look, especially after I have spoken. Boom, boom, boom. All right, bro. So at the end of the day, you got trenches news. I asked the judge, can I keep on my mask like this? Duck trial, man. Hey, you gotta come here, man, and, 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 and tell them, man. man. Breaking news, man. Apparently, this is what sometimes is saying, right? Star witness in FBG duck murder trial is a masked rap blogger and longtime government informant. Martel Wiley, who runs the popular Trenches News YouTube channel, was paid nearly $25,000 to cooperate with the government. An FBI agent testified Monday. Special Agent Kevin Doyle testified Monday that Wiley called the Chicago Police Department a day after the shooting and offered to help with the investigation. He would provide background information. He reviewed surveillance footage and reviewed social media postings. But these what these guys do. It's called being smart. I would rather get paid to be in these niggas business then to get paid to be on my own this is exactly what they do, fam. They do this shit all the time, man. They play y'all like fools, man. And then they make y'all question niggas like me. When the fuck have you heard me say, yeah, that nigga did it. He did it. You feel me? When have y'all heard me ever say that? I got over 1,600 videos, bro. 
Interview with a lot of the best of them. You feel me? Interview with from gangsters to some of the guys that the celebrities, the rappers be talking about in their songs, bro. Ain't no smut on my name. Nigga ain't gonna never find me on no television. Talk about, yeah, this part. Then look, bro, this is another thing, bro. Listen to how he articulated himself. He was static, he was static. And his friend was like, he not even a part of this. You know, he not a part of this S. I ain't give a statement to no police. The paperwork dropping on 1090 Jake channel. Bro, for one, bro, you gave the statement to make the statement. You feel me? Pay attention, man. Catch up, y'all. Subscribe after you get that, what I just said. He didn't want to go up on 1090 Jake for a moment like this. Don't you get it? You giving him a pass. Uh, first of all, it's not because he it, it might be because he gave a nigga a shout out. I have a different relationship with Jay. He did real nigga shit behind the scenes, not calling no nigga rat for no fucking grievance. But he did state the nigga name that did it because in the incident report, the nigga name was in there. Is that a rat or not? <laughs> yeah. He put his name in there. So he a rat. Okay, so he a snitch. Listen, hey, listen. Like I told, I'm not a prison nigga. That's why I said I don't, I don't have no feeling. This OG, right? Yeah. And, and like he teach you, like he, you trust with his word and his word solid. I don't have a choice. All right. That's how this shit goes. You got to come out with a video saying 1090 J correct. No, I don't. Yeah, because the, the fuck? The OG stamped it and you listen to your OG. Well, we have new information that, that now we all see that somebody you look up to that's a real nigga is verified he a rat. So why wouldn't you make that video? Because I'm not a prison nigga. You a dumb, stupid nigga today. Because they found out what you've been trying to hide this whole time. No wonder y'all didn't want to go up on 1090 J. You saying that that grievance or, you know what I'm saying, the statement that people seeing is not no little forward shit or no fake nah, shit. No, no, nah, I wrote that. So you don't feel like that was snitching though? Like even writing that statement out? Like you don't feel like, like damn, I shouldn't have did that one? Nah, because it had no effect on nobody. You know that's one of the reasons why shit got me, got me, got me kind of deported, right? I mean, he kind of deported, right? He's speaking out on it. He's saying how he got deported, gang. No wonder y'all let that shit slide. But one thing, though, bro, with between you and 1090 Jake, 1090 Jake wasn't talking about no murder, bro. Jacob Cherry, a former inmate. Every single compound I hit, there was all types of drugs on there, whether it's prescription pills, Molly, some spots it was cocaine and meth, but nothing more common than K2. You, bro, you totaled a murder, a whole murder, gang. A witness confirmed for the sergeant a shooting had indeed just taken place, and he or she spotted people scattering from the scene, according to a police news release. This is a situation where I parked and heard it, and somebody else was running one way and another guy falling on the ground, and he was dead, said Cedric Adams, a witness in the case. These the niggas, they be trying to, oh, yeah, look. He real. He talking about Chicago. He can do this. He can do that. Like, man, if you don't knock it the fuck off, these the goofies. These the goofies, bro. Straight up rats. Man. They do this shit for fun. And, and like AK said it, bro. He said he do it for money. To all YouTubers, we gonna play some police shit on here. We gonna play some police shit on here. It's a part of the job. We wouldn't be successful if we didn't. Academics done did it. No jumper done did it. I'm talking about all these Vlad them that are fed. If you wanna be a successful YouTuber, you gonna have to. That's what I gotta do to get there. I don't want it. You hear me? Straight like that. FBG Duck was set up by the bitch. It was. Two people with duck, not one. FBG duck had the gun. The dude that was with the girl that was with him is her brother. He is Muwap's cousin. The brother, which is the dude laying on the ground with FBG duck, set duck the f up. FBG duck. Once he Muwapping them niggas in the car, he turned to the nigga, man. The same nigga and see that nigga reach for his gun. They shot Duck. Y'all niggas not close to this shit. As he shot the nigga, he was getting shot. The gun failed. Yes, it jammed, but it fell out his hand. It flew. Like, once he got shot, he, it happened like that. Baby, how the fuck you know this? How you, I'm saying, how, like, the, talk to me, bro. You the police? Is you the LBI? CIA? What's your name? Because every camera showed the inside of a store. No camera actually showed the outside shooting. How do I know this? I ain't gonna tell you all how I know this, bro. And we gonna get to you, AK. It's some shit gonna come out on you soon, bro. Because we know about you and your brother, bro. Just because you was a juvenile don't mean that that shit can't resurface, bro. Did you snitch on your brother? Who's my brother? 
And what's his name? We know about you and your brother, gang. Really knew. They were saying Sadie Nash told on his brother. His bruh brother came out, nigga, on that Jalik bitch channel and said he told. So keep that in mind. You ain't got Scott Free yet, nigga. So you might as well come clean, man. Come clean to your audience and say you not with that shit no more. You changed your life and you, you want justice for this shit out here in the streets. You know what I'm saying? You'll probably go up. I bet you shoot the 500K. Just come clean, bro. You not a fucking gangster. You worse than a, a pretending ass rapper. You not a gangster. Said he not a whole goofy. Yeah, this nigga, this nigga a whole goofy. He snitching, bro. Snitch on TV. I don't get it, though, because all this time, they been, yeah, said he not, she stamped. He got stamped by ODM Slim. He got stamped by J Stone, Brick Baby. You feel me? Like, man, man, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Y'all better stop all that stamping. You better do some more research on these niggas, man. I get it. A lot of these niggas was in prison. They don't, they probably weren't on the streets when these niggas was out. So they can only hear, oh, yeah, that's one of the little homies. He bigging me up. You know what I'm saying? He got a platform. You know, I'm gonna rock with it type shit. I'm assuming that's how that shit been going. But that shit bigger than just, bro, just imagine how much more shit this nigga ain't told on. Just imagine how many people, they stupid ass, did him like they used to do AK and send him information on their neighborhood, bro. <laughs> hey, all them niggas who, who sent them information on their neighborhood thinking he just a blogger and he just gonna report on it and shit, bro. So first Trenches news get exposed, which I've been told y'all, these new bloggers, bro, that's coming out, because y'all know how long I've been doing this shit. So like these new bloggers coming out, they doing all this extra shit, bro, I just don't get it. Something ain't right. Who protecting them? Who protecting these dudes? Because it ain't the hood. Niggas would have been smacked their ass upside their head. You feel me? Running their mouth on their people. Don't even know. They, they, they going to be outside of the scope of things. They talking about shit that ain't even on the news, bro. How do I know this? I ain't going to tell you how I know this. They talk about shit that ain't even on public record just yet. Trying to expose, trying to be the first and shit. All for the, the money. But my thing is, how the fuck is Sadie Nash a crip rapper? And he on the news telling like that. I know that ain't in their politics, bro. I'm not a crip, bro. I'm not from the West Coast. I, I lived on the West Coast. And I know they don't politic like that. I know for a fact them niggas don't be politicking like that, bro. This nigga said he nudged. Body is here. Confirmed for the sergeant a shooting had indeed just taken place. And he or she spotted people scattering from the scene, according to a police news release. A witness described a suspicious car that had just been seen leaving. This is a situation where I parked and heard it, and somebody else was running one way and another guy falling on the ground, and he was dead, said Cedric Adams, a witness in the case. This shit, this shit is wild business. Look at this nigga Seti Nash. He was static, he was static, and his friend was like, he not even a part of this. He not, he not a part of this S, boom, boom, boom. So y'all telling me that this can't be used against that person? And yes, you can be called to testify. Y'all telling me this can't be used against that person? Y'all heard what Seti Nash said, bro? He said, boom, 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 boom. What does that mean, bro? I thought that nigga was a big time crip or some shit, bro. From the West. I thought he got stamped by niggas like J Stone, bro. Brick Baby, ODM Slim. I know they don't know about this shit, man. I know that they ain't gonna stand on this nigga. Yeah, he just was on it. He was just telling what happened. Boom, boom, boom. He ain't give a description. Niggas gonna try to paint a narrative. They ain't know. They did not know, bro. Nobody was gonna know. Woulda got away with it. You woulda got away with it had we not had that camera footage. But now they know. Because it's all over the internet. It's all over the internet. Sadie, how you going to explain this, gang? Go ahead and chop them dreads off your head and put it back on the mask and start a new channel, nigga. People won't even remember. And then articulate yourself like you did on that news clip, bro. Talk like that. Don't talk like how you be talking on the uh, channel that you got now, bro. Talk like how you was talking when you was on that news clip. Do that. I bet you won't. F***ing rat. Yo, Sadie Nash, you made a statement, gang. So delete your channel. Tell Sadie Nash to go delete his channel. He goes off and say he bad me that he, he'll delete his channel. Y'all see the, the whole shit on the screen, right? He'll delete his channel if he made a statement. And I delete my channel if he didn't. Bro, you already made a statement to the newscaster. For one, bro, you gave the statement to make the statement. You feel me? Pay attention, man. Gang. So they them, that same statement that you did make with the newscaster, they use that statement to go get the rest of them statements. You should know that it's files inside of a case. Shit that they play in court, they use for evidence. Even if that person cops out, it's still on file that they use that for evidence. I told niggas about you and your boy AK-47. 1090 Jake, Trenches News. So you did make a statement, bro. So go ahead and delete your channel. And like I said, bro, cut your dreads off, put back on the mask, and start a new channel. Just talk like how you was talking on that video, bro. Talk how you was talking to that newscaster. They will never know it's you. I said he know. 
If I came in some paperwork, said he'd cut me off. If said he came in some paperwork, I'm gonna cut his ass off. AK 47, you next, my boy. They got something about to come out on YouTube, though. Watch out for it.